Okay, hello everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope this video can be interesting to you. I am incredibly excited about this new technology that comes out and no one else seems to be talking about it, okay? Um, by the way, I'm not trying to take any of the uh, sort of glory about this information. I'm literally trying to just broadcast it to make sure you all read this certain white paper that I'll keep putting the uh, link down here, okay? Um, I really, really, really want you to read this, especially you young engineers, if there's anyone going through university at the moment reading this. This will be a fundamental bit of technology, I hope, okay, for the future. It is amazing, this. I'm going to go through it so quick because it's such a simple solution. I'm going to go on about twisting RF waves to get bandwidth efficiency. I think it's amazing, all right? By the way, this is video five of my series, and this is my email, okay? If you want to send me any comments or got me any questions, please don't be afraid to ask, all right? Anyway, and don't forget to label on the comments below, please. Right, so, let's talk about bandwidth very quick. Anyone who's not familiar with it, okay, you have got our frequency band, okay, so this is my frequency, and then let's just call this my amplitude. Okay, what happens is, how is frequency separated up? Well, at certain frequency bands, so especially around the sort of 400 megahertz, so uh, let's say 400 megahertz up to I don't know the one gigahertz or something like that okay or even even lower than that a lot lower than that actually is very expensive and it's split up into channels okay so this is very very broad what I'm saying now, okay and it gets split up into these blocks okay so for example for TV it gets split up into 8 megahertz blocks okay or maybe even 7 if you go further down G very general and each one of these blocks gets sold by the country that it's in to the broadcaster. Okay, whether it's mobile phone broadcasters, TV broadcasters, whatever the hell it wants to be, okay? This is very expensive, and you can understand why, okay? Especially in these bands, okay? Because they are uh, the, the, which is another video I could go into, why this is so important, because these frequency bands here correspond to the aerial size that you actually use in your phones, in your TVs, okay? A whole other thing that I can go into. Um, if I do this video, I'll put a link down here, okay? So, uh, what's important here? I want you to imagine that in each one of these blocks that I've drawn here, I've got some energy, okay? I've got some RF technology going on, all right? Whether it's a TV channel or if it's a satellite channel or if it's a mobile phone channel or something, all right? Okay? And all the powers look a bit like this. They, they cut off at the edges so they don't interfere with the channels next to each other. That's a whole other thing. Anyway, it can get quite can get congested, and already in in some of the big countries, it's quite difficult to find any space, and it's incredibly expensive. So, what is this twisting wave things I'm on about? Bandwidth efficiency. What it's doing is it's just taking one of these muxes here. It can just what this new technology is capable of doing. Okay, ignore the frequency bands here because I'm not actually aware of what frequency it's capable of working at. All right, but it can take one slice, one chunk of the frequency. Okay, and it can actually multiply it. You can put more than one signal through the same one and it won't interfere. How, you're thinking? How can you have more than one signal in the same thing? Surely it's all going to disrupt. Well, they twist it. It's amazing. Let me show you. So, easiest way for me to do it. Okay, imagine I've got a graph here, okay? And imagine this is my modulated wave, okay, that's going in here. Um, so. I do right yeah let's just let's just do that just imagine this is a wave traveling through the air okay so this is traveling in that direction all right um, and to label this so you understand very quickly okay I'm gonna say green is the top peak all right and I'm gonna say red is the bottom peak okay so if you see well good mistake Robert well done so red is the top bit red is the bottom bit even green is the top bit okay you understand so I'm on about peaks and trough. Peak, green, trough, red. Now, what am I going to say here? So I'm going to have my transmitter. My transmitter is here. And my receiver is here. Okay? Let's just do it like this. All the rest you can see in the paper. I don't want to steal stuff away from the paper. You really should be reading it, okay? It's got loads of mass in it, but it's got loads of pictures in this white paper. It's awesome, right? So what it's saying is for one channel, okay, I'm going to send my wave like this. All right, I'm just going to send it straight. Okay, so I've got my peak and my trough, and they are going 
straight across. Okay, I'm not doing anything special with it. Okay, this is how it's done at the moment. Maybe during the air it'll have a bit of a tweak or something like that, and it'll end up in another way, you know, it might not end up at the perfect phase. This is basically what happens, right? So what's this new technology? How's it doing it? It's twisting it. So it's calling this here zero, right? Zero twist. And now it's going to have another level. So this is one twist. So from the same broadcast antenna, which this is absolutely amazing. This is such a good solution. It is absolutely amazing, this. All right? It twists it. Okay? So I've got my waves being twisted. Okay? They're folding around each other. And then this means you can have an infinite amount, okay? So I could have two here, and then obviously this means I would double it, okay? I, uh, I'm, I'm going to mess up this graph here, I'm sure, so I want to go something like this. Okay, you imagine, right? Okay, I, I've got this double the thickness as, as that one, right? So I'm going to have something like yeah, this. Okay, you can imagine that it's... Um, uh, that it's uh, being twisted around, okay? Okay, so how's it being done? Well, on this end, on our receiving end, all right, so this is very, very, very basic. You've got to go and read the white paper after this, all right? On the receiving end here, okay, I've got two antennas, okay, like you have on your TV, okay? They're called Yagi antennas. Okay, which then can detect the phase change, because there's two. Okay, so my wave will be coming here, and it can detect if there's a phase change. And how's it being broadcast? Okay, what is my broadcast antenna? How is it producing this? It's a brilliant idea, this. Okay, and I'm going to mess up when I do this. They have a satellite dish that has a curve in it. Okay, it's a satellite dish, and basically... The, the waveform curls around it and produces this lovely twist in here. This is absolutely amazing technology. I'm sorry if I keep going on about it. But this means now that you could have potentially in some of the bandwidths, in some of the, in some of the slots, potentially an infinite amount of, uh, uh, of, of channels that can go through it. This is cracking stuff. This is great work. Okay, uh, Please read the article that I'm putting along here now. Um, and enjoy uh, and I hope if you're a student or you know if you're just coming through uni or if you're a research student um, I hope that maybe you'll be interested in getting involved with this stuff I mean fantastic work fantastic work for, by these people um, also I've put here my blog um, and also my LinkedIn page if you're interested in finding more about me um, so yeah uh, enjoy thank you very much for listening and watching and uh, take care bye